Hey everybody, Pete Griffin here coming to you from the gorgeous Guitar Sanctuary here in Dallas, Texas, or near Dallas, Texas. On the Tony McAlpine Tour, we've only got about a week left on here, so I wanted to give you guys a rundown of all the awesome gear I get to use for this. Starting with my beautiful Sandberg Custom Supreme 5-string bass, which uh, I can play stuff on this bass that I can't play on any other bass that I own. Tony's music is particularly impossible. So uh, I'm able to do it on this and not really on my other bases. It's kind of incredible. Uh, and then I use these rather inexpensive X-Vive, X-Vive wireless systems. Uh, X-V-I-V-E. -E. Super easy. They just find each other. This is the transmitter and that's the receiver down there. From there I'm going into the regular old chromatic tuner. Everybody's got. This is one of my newer pedals that I'm really digging. The MXR bass sub octave bass fuzz. So that's my regular tone. Turn it on. So it's almost like a synth all in one box, and you can run it without the octave. Just as a cool fuzz pedal, or drop the octave in. And it does have that kind of synthy thing. And then. My new favorite on almost all the time pedal is the Dark Glass Microtubes B7K. This thing kicks so much ass. It's nice and grindy. Those are my settings. Pretty flat, which I like about any pedal or any amp, is I don't have to tweak too much. So there's my clean tone. Turn it on. So it gets nice and dirty and still maintains the clankiness without, uh, well, still maintains the bottom note, too. And it's got the blend knob, so you can go back to clean. And then also all the way dirty. I keep it about midway, maybe a little bit more. And so for all the fighting, all the seven and eight string guitars that Tony likes to play, it really helps me cut through at the bottom. So the other dark glass pedal I have, which is a newer one, is the Alpha Omega. I didn't think I was going to like this pedal as much, but this thing kicks serious ass. It has both on, it has two different sort of uh, distortion circuits in it. One's a little more overdrive, I guess that's the alpha, and then the omega is a little bit more of a fuzz. So that in con conjunction with this, when I really need to jump ahead in the mix, I turn it on and it has that really cool kind of paper ripping distortion sound. It's a little noisy, but it's pretty badass, and it has way more, it has tone controls in it. Most distortion pedals that I like have an EQ built into it, so you can see this has bass, mid, and treble, and then even some switches to control the mid and the bottom end. Pretty badass. And finally, I use the bass compressor, MXR. Well, I love MXR pedals, and this is just for when the impossible stuff gets even more impossible, and I need to play kind of lightly to make something come out. So if I'm playing pretty lightly right now. doesn't let it get too loud. So I use that for some of the harder passage, which is the passages of Tony's music, which happens a lot. And then finally, up here, I've got my trusty old Ashdown amps. I've had these cabinets for almost 10 years, I think. Never had a problem with them, never blown a speaker. Super trustworthy. This is actually a newer amp for me. They've upgraded the, at the, at the ABM 500 to the ABM 600. And those are my settings. Once again, pretty much all flat. Sounds like my bass. That's what I've always loved about Ashdown, is you just set it up, plug my bass in, count off the song, let's go. Uh, this one, their newer one, has more sliders. The old ones only had the two sliders at different frequencies. Now they've added two more. And they've also made it so that the valve drive, which pushes the tube a little bit harder, gets a little gnarlier quicker. So if I turn off my distortion down there, and then crank the valve drive, It gets louder, but it gets kind of dirtier too in a, in a kind of fun way, and then you can dime it. Or bring it back, which is where I usually have it. So it definitely adds volume, but uh, also adds a little bit of grindiness to it. So there you have it. That's my rig for this tour, and uh, hit me up for a lesson anytime, and I'll see you guys next time.